What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. I'm going to go over a quick little tidbit on my Toby settings. I use Toby as a head tracker. I don't use it as the eye tracker. Um, I kind of also broke the rules too because Toby recommends that you guys put it on the bottom of the screen and mine is on the top of the screen. <music> But anyway, I'm going to go over a few of my settings here to help you guys out on trying to get yourselves started with setting it up that works for you. So we're going to jump right into it. You guys are going to plug that thing in. And then as you guys know, you're more than likely going to get into that little screen right here. Um, I don't have the dim feature apparently. Okay. But anyway, you're going to do your calibration here and make sure you're all lined up. If you guys already have this, you guys pretty much know this already. I don't need to go over this. We need to go talk about American Truck Simulator and those settings in there. There is nothing to do here that is going to deal with American Truck Simulator. So we're going to minimize out of this and we're going to jump right into ATS. All right, guys. So we are an American Truck Simulator here. As you guys see, you're going to go to the options, controls, and you should be able now to have this check marked on. You are going to click configure and you are going to check out my settings and hit the pause key so you guys can copy this down. If your extended view preset is not custom, as soon as you move one of these, it'll most likely go to custom. But I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and you guys check out the settings, set them up your way there, kind of give you a base start. And then I'll go over what you would need to adjust for your left and rights and ups and downs. And now this is gonna be for your head. I haven't really dabbled too, too much with the eyes. Uh, I do a lot of live streaming as you guys may or may not know. So uh, if I use my eyes when I'm looking to the left and right for the chat, uh, the game would go crazy. So I literally just try to keep it down to uh, using just my head tracking. But uh, we're going to scroll on down here. Here's the gaze settings. Boom. Pause it if you need to. And the head track settings. And we'll scroll down a little more. And that's like your hotkeys and stuff like that. I use my space bar and also my numpad plus is to pause it if I need to pause it. And yeah, let's jump right back up. So right here, the yaw and pitch. So the yaw is going to be your left and right. And your pitch is going to be your up and down. So I usually don't look up and down too, too much. I usually look down so I can see like my brakes. So you can adjust these. Now a little fun tidbit. If you hover over these, like you'll see, it's like kind of hard to get it where you want it to go. Just hover over it and then hit your arrow keys. And if you hit the arrow keys, you can put it right where you want. We'll put it at 11. Your y'all for your cabin is gonna be right here. That's gonna be your left and right looking around. And then when you scroll on down here, I think the gaze is for the eyes, but maybe because I have it on zero, I don't use it too much. I'm not sure 100%. Someone might be able to correct me down there in the comment section below. Um, but the inflection point here is going to be for the, so if you're staring straight, it'll automatically reset yourself. So you got to make sure that this is selected as well Auto enable auto recenter. So sometimes if I'm looking over to the right and I'm talking to the chat and I'm like, yo, what's up going on? Blah, 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 blah. You'll notice like sometimes it'll like adjust to the right. But as soon as I start looking center, I don't even have to hit the space bar. It like literally locks me in. And the reason I do that is because it feels a little bit more natural. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like in the game, but it kind of gives it more of a natural look. So it more or less looks like I'm not using a tracker, but I'll show you what I mean by that. Scrolling down, uh, the I have the 90, 2.0, stuff like that. I don't use walk mode, so I zeroed these out. Um, inflection point there, this is for the head tracking settings. So again, this is gonna be for your, how much you turn your head, it literally tells you. Boom, right there, how much you turn left or right compared to how much you turn. So. I have these set up for my big old head. So this is gonna just give you a starting point on, okay, I can sit in the truck, I can look left and right, I can look up and down. And then depending on how much you actually wanna turn your head in real life, that's how you're gonna adjust these sliders. So you, the lower the number, the slower it's gonna turn. If I jack this all the way up to the max, I'm gonna go ripping around like I'm like, you know, so you gotta go slow. Uh, 
uh, and that's that. So let me jump in the truck here real quick, and I'll show you the natural look. So here we go. So if I'm looking over here to the right, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Now, see if I'm looking here, if I hit the space bar, see how it moves me back automatically? See? But if I don't touch the space bar, and I'm like over here, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm, uh, uh, see how it's like naturally coming back over? And it's also moving because I'm using my mouth, my mouth's moving. So like it actually like follows my head. Then we're looking up. There's up, there's down. Now, I'm, see I just moved in my chair. You could even lean up, look over the hood. Set the brake, pull the brake out. You can lean forward as well, look all around. That's what I do usually, I look around like that. Uh, I don't usually look out the window too, too much. As you guys know, I usually try to like look up and around like that. Back. I should see a little bit of the bunk. But uh, yeah, I try to keep this. Oh, there's that. I personally try to keep it as realistic to me as possible. So you're going to just have to use my settings if you want. And just use that as a baseline number. Because there's not really that many videos on Toby on the internet to find, especially when it comes to American Truck Simulator. So this will hopefully give you an idea or a starting point. And again, you can just like lean out, looking up and over. Like it's, I have mine set up too. So like I literally move in my, I sit where I sit. And then literally anytime I move my body around my head, it just kind of goes naturally around. And uh, you know, can adjust your seat with the in-game settings right here. Adjust seats, adjust that how you want to sit, and then get yourself situated with your settings. And then you hit your space bar, and then that'll be your main starting point. And you'll always go back to that unless you move in your chair. But just looking around the old yard here, I'm trying not to uh, hit nothing. I know you guys love that Jake break. But yeah, guys, really simple to use Toby. I highly recommend it. I am not sponsored by Toby, but if Toby ever watches this video, I love your product. Nah, I'm just messing. But I do like the product a lot. I was a big track IR5 guy. I then upgraded because the big thing with Toby, if you guys are track IR5 users, Track IR is awesome for this game. It is fantastic. The only downside I have is that you have to either have a giant headset uh, contraption on your headset in order for it to read, or you would have to have the hat on all the time with the hat clip. With the Toby, this is a little bit more expensive. However, you are completely free of all of that. It literally just is like, you know, AI, man. It's like the future. It just reads your face, it reads your head. It's kind of creepy, but kind of cool. Um, definitely, definitely a solid upgrade if you guys are big time users of the game and you guys plan on playing the game for a long time. And like I said too, this is very compatible with a lot of other games. I know guys on Toby's website, there's a whole slew of all the games it is uh, in conjunction with. So I'm sure if you guys are into some other games other than American Truck Simulator, this would be totally the purchase for you. Um, you guys can find it on the Amazon. That's where I got mine. Quick delivery and uh, really easy setup. Like I said, it was just kind of hard to find the original settings on how to get this thing working in the cab. But uh, look at that. There's no driver in the cab. Oh, no. I got to set this up. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope that little tidbit of the Toby helps you out. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. I will try to help you out as much as I can. That's really just the gist of it. It seems a little bit more intense than it is, but it's really not. But uh, just play around with those sliders. Get yourself in a nice, solid beginning spot. Play a little bit at a time, and uh, you'll be uh, looking left and right and up and down and trucking in no time. So thanks for tuning in, boys. Keep the hammer down. We will catch you in the next one.